Hey guys, welcome, Kevin Faddy here. Now, we've got a free training video today. It's about, it's an answer to a question from a subscriber who is having some trouble getting to $100 a day. Now, I know this person by the letter that I've got has already put in a lot of effort into building his list, he's tried everything. There's no way it's laziness is a, is a fact of the matter that he's not succeeding. So, I'm definitely gonna put in effort to try and help this guy and get to his goals. So, I'm just going to read out the letter here. The main reason I've been able to grow my list to 12,000 is by mostly ad swaps and mini giveaway events. I have tried everything as an OTO after opt-in. The most success I've had is when sending them to pay for lead programs. I have tried pure leverage and only got two customers and a stop after a couple of months. I have tried ClickBank and I had little success with ClickSure. The first week I promoted them, I made over $260, but it all got refunded, so I switched to their CPA. Now I have $160 in there, but I can't get it out, as, is, as there is a $250 limit. The $160 arrived fairly quick, but just can't get any more. I have even gotten really desperate and tried permit schemes and cycling schemes, but people won't even pay the $10. I keep hearing that I should be making one dollar a month for everyone on my list, but I am making around four cent. I turned to seven solo ads, which is a quick way to make a little money, but there is far few many sellers and not enough buyers since a few people jumped on the bandwagon and offered courses. Anyway, I am not convinced that this is a very ethical way of making money. I am not greedy. If I could make one hundred dollars a day, I would be plenty happy. I am retired, so I spend almost all my day at my computer to make very little. So guys, that is a letter I got um, just two days ago. Now, what you see behind me is the current situation, the issues, the income, and the end goal. We have a person here with a list of 12,000 subscribers. Now, if you have 12,000 subscribers, congratulations, you've definitely done something right. But you should be earning around $3,000 per month, if not more. You could be earning $12,000. I do believe that you should be earning a lot more than $480 per month. You told me you're earning about $0.04 cent for every subscriber that's on your list. So that's about $480 a month. Now, I'm taking this as a presumption. Now, I presume that you're getting around 1% click-through rate. Um, because you told me you've sent solo ads to your list, you pyramid schemes, and it's, by the sounds of it, you're not directly tied into any niche. Bar the internet marketing, let's try and mail something. So I believe you're getting around 1% um, click through rate, which is around 120 clicks per email um, per day. So if you send one email per day, you're going to earn around 13 cent EPC which brings you to this. So this is your current situation that I would look at it. Now, everyone says, I must get a list. You already have a list. So the issue is not the list. Your issue in this case is your earnings per click. Your earnings per click are 13 cent on average. Now, I'm just gonna skip right over to solo ads and I'm just gonna talk about this very quickly. Majority, now I've, I personally sold solo ads for two or three years in my business and up to about nine months ago I used to make around $10,000 a month just from selling solo advertising. It's a good business to be in but there are so many downfalls. What people don't tell you about solo ads, if, you want to, if I was making $10,000 a month selling them, I was investing at least $5,000 into my new list every single month. Because when you start selling solo ads, your list becomes a lot less responsive. You almost consistently refresh your list, refresh your list, and it doesn't come down to your size of your list then, it comes down to your quality of your list. So, solo ads do work as a quick way to get money, but on, for them to consistently work and run up to continue to work as a business model, you must consistently be buying solo ads. Now, you told me in the letter that you're using ad swaps and giveaway events to kind of sell solo ads. It will not survive this way. So, another thing is a lot of people, the reason a lot of people sell solo ads is because they can't get their EPC up, their earnings per click up, 
when they're doing ClickBank offers, ClickShare, CPA, Pure Leverage, they can't get that, thir that 30 cent or 40 cent EPC. So they choose to sell a solo ad again. Now, what a solo ad is, quickly for the people that don't know it, it's um, you'd see a squeeze page that would say, please enter your email to get this free gift. That would be an opt-in page. When someone sends out a solo ad, they're usually sending to an opt-in page. So, if, I'm, if you're selling solo ads and I'm on your list, and email Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, enter your email to get this free gift, enter your email to get this free gift, two major things are happening here. One, your subscriber's getting annoyed. He doesn't want to enter his email for every single free gift. Noting that majority we know are actually crap, or it leads to another offer. Number two is, um, you don't teach them to buy. Every single day you're sending them an email saying, get this free, enter your email. So they're not actually expecting to buy a product. So I always recommend um, mix it up. If you're going to be doing ad swaps, giveaway events, and solo ads, always send two or three paid products a week so your subscribers get used to buying as well. So this is the biggest problem with solo ads. If you're constantly selling free gifts, your buyers are never going to buy. You can change this around, but it will take time. So the issue with, while you were building your list, you were using these products as your OTO. Let's call it Pure Leverage, ClickBank, ClickShare, and CPA offers. Now, the, the market has changed. Today, this is 2013. In 2000. 11 in 2010 in previous years clickbank was the major player in the affiliate marketing space now in in the last year clickshare has taken away a lot of and i'm going to be honest straight out and honest with this a lot of the crap products a lot of the products that are just 47 dollar just pieces of crap that just do not work that's all them offers moved to clickshare because clickbank would not allow them that is fact now, what's on ClickShare is offers that what you see it, you got a very, very high refund rate. So at the end of the day, guys, for OTO offers, ClickBank and ClickShare no longer work as well and as effective as they used to. And the other way of looking at it is if it's a bad product that you're recommending your subscriber immediately after they sign up to your list, um, there's going to be, it's going to be hard for, to get them to open your very next email. And so this is your issue. You need to concentrate on one thing rather than following the, the next biggest product that you see launched on ClickShare, for example. Now, the way we're going to look at that is you're going to have to increase your earnings per click. Now, your goal is $100 per day, and it's a very, very modest goal to earn from the internet marketing. For you to be able to achieve that, you must double your EPC. Now, I'm just going to say, if you're sending 120 clicks a day and you double your EPC, you're going to be earning around $25, $30 a day, a third of the way to your goal. If you manage to double your clicks, double the amount of traffic you send, which, will, which could mean double this list size, but when you're building it next time, build it better, which we're going to talk about. But you want to send 250 clicks a day, and if you were to be able to get 40 cent EPC, which is earned three times more than you're currently earning, you have got your goal of $100 a day. Now, a lot of you're going to ask, how do I do this? Now, this is what I'm going to cover now. You're earning 13 cents, you need to get a 40 cent EPC. What do you need to do? You need to offer more to your subscribers so they are more inclined to buy your products. So just like what I did when nine months ago, I stopped selling solo ads. I cut 10,000 out of my business and it's not, uh, it's not easy asking anyone to stop doing this in your business that's earning you money. But because you're not earning a huge deal already, I recommend cut out the solo ads. If you're gonna do, uh, if you're traffic to send, just do an ad swap and bring it into a new funnel, not this method using this method. So we're just going to put down new here, right? And the very, very, very first thing you need to do is decide what you are going to promote. In a previous video, um, I, I talked about the four-figure marketers. They are using the exact method that you're using. They're using ClickBank, ClickShare, and they're building a list and they're earning between $500 and $2,000 $2, a month, which is the situation you're in 
If you want to move to a five-figure market, there's, there's a few things you need to do. You need to pick your niche. Now, I don't mean internet marketing products. I mean, what type of marketer or what type, where are you going to be the professional in this? Are you going to be a WordPress plugin creator and a WordPress plugin um, affiliate marketer? Are you going to be an SEO software affiliate marketer? Are you going to be a PLR affiliate marketer? Are you going to be a video marketer, Amazon, etc.? Pick your niche. So it's pick a niche. Every one of these will work the exact same. If you become the professional to go in your niche, you will. Doing this alone will bring your EPC up around 25%. Because when people want to, if you say, I'm going to come at the Amazon guy to go to, when people want an Amazon product, they look out for your emails. The next is offer bonuses. The reason affiliate marketers end up selling solo ads is because they cannot earn more than 35 cent EPC. If you offer a bonus with your affiliate promotion, you will again add another 25%, 50%, or even double your EPC. So pick a niche and offer a bonus. The next you're gonna to have to do is original emails. Now, what I mean by this, when you're coming along and you're doing a promotion for an affiliate product, you go to the JV page, they will have a swipe. Please copy this swipe and insert your affiliate link. Doing this method is, it's very quick, but it's very lazy, and your, your results will be poor because you're sending the same swipe as everybody else. This comes back to basically branding yourself. So what you need to do, you can take that swipe, take ideas for it, but have your twist on that swipe, write it your way so it's personal to your list, and offer five or six bonuses along with that. Now, through this alone, you are going to, you're going to get your EPCs from 13 cent up to 30 cent over this please note this might not happen on the very first day you send an email but after three or four emails your list will say okay this guy is changing his his bad or habits i'm going to actually start listening to him now and this is when you will notice the difference over time you will notice that your click through rate can increase or you will notice that it's better now go out and actually buy a solo ad invest into my funnel because I can understand it more and then increase the list size. But these are the three main things and they all come around about basically picking the right niche, branding yourself, offering a bonuses and emails. Now it comes back to, let me see, the original funnel you design. If you're going to, let's say you're going to be an Amazon marketer and you're going to give away a free, e -pro, e free report on how to make more money as an Amazon affiliate. Your thank you page should have, after they enter their name and email, uh, if OTOs are not making you money, you could simply have thank you, download your free report here. Below are three highly recommended Amazon products, which I think you should check out, and that is your download page. And if you decide to purchase any of these products, I am going to give you so and so and such as a bonus. Now, um, in the very first email, the next thing you do is Thank you for downloading this free Amazon report. Please watch out for tomorrow's email where I'm gonna give you another free report and a special discount on a software. You're just, they've already signed up for Amazon. They're interested in Amazon. Please understand this is the most important part of getting your EPC up to 40 cent EPC with a freebie list. So um, I hope this video helps. You, I hope you see what you need to do. You have the list, you just need to double or triple your EPC and doing that alone will get you your goal because uh, $480 a month from your list, it's, it, can, it can be doubled, it can be tripled very, very easily. So um, guys, if you're watching this video, um, please, if you like it, leave a comment below.